Everyone take their seats. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Glad you could make Good it. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah. uh, sorry, to, did we uh, disturb you? or you No, know, you no, I was here late last night. Oh, I right. see you. I don't even want to know what you were doing here. So Pulled out the Probably cot. not what you were supposed to be doing. But anyway, we're going to do threads today. Do you know about threads? Yes. No. No, you don't. No, I don't. No, you don't. No, I we're going to make you already smart, but we're going to make you smarter. But you're going to have to stay awake. Is that okay? I think so. Thank you. Thread cutting made simplified. You're the average shop guy, and maybe not even average, but Glenn, let's say you want to cut a thread, and you're not sure how to do it. I can give you this book, and this book <laughs> will put you to sleep. Yeah. Now, if you want to know about threads, there's about 85 pages mm. just in threads alone. It's all about the minor diameter, the major diameter, the pitch diameter, over wires, do you really care about all that stuff? I don't think so. So if we simplify this, let's just say you want to cut a thread that's maybe this size, which is a half inch. Oh. And we're going to measure this. How do we measure it? With thread. What's the instrument that we use? Oh, I don't know. Oh, micrometer. Micrometer. Oh, that. Yeah. Remember micrometer, right? Oh, okay. But I like micrometer. I like that. How do we do this? It's really not that hard. There's a few tricks that I'm going to show you that will cause you not to have to refer to this book. And by the way, this is a terrific book because it's everything that an engineer needs to know. But if you're the average guy, again, in the shop and you want to cut a thread, you, you could spend an hour and a half. I'll tell you what, the hmm. time you figure out how to use this book, you could have the thread cut just hmm. with the fundamentals. So how do we do that? Hmm. The first thing that we do is we have to have a set of what's called thread wires. That's what these are. And by the way, you can buy these for about 20 bucks, the whole set. And with this comes a little chart. Can you make this small enough? Do they make them what? Can you, I can't even read that. It's so small. Want me to show it to you a little closer? Are you okay? Yeah, no, it is hard to read. I have to agree with you. <laughs> but it's pretty simple. The math is this. You find out, you look on here, and let's say this is 13 threads per inch. So we know that. We look on this chart, it says 13 threads per inch. We know the diameter is a half inch. And it says here to add 18 thousandths over the wires to measure it. What do I mean by over the wires? We take our wires, two on the bottom, one on the top, or vice versa. We put them together and we measure with our micrometer. That's right, the micrometer. <laughs> so here it is. The diameter equals is 500 thousandths plus 18 according to our chart that gives us 518 over wires pretty simple and that goes with any thread you're trying to cut so you don't have to go and do, do yourself a lot of brain damage going into the book now I'm not saying if you need to cut a precision thread it has to meet some military specs that's a little different but if you're the average guy in a shop and you need to take this piece of bar stock and you need to cut a thread into it then this is all you need to do and we'll show you about the geometry of the of, of grinding the tool bit itself, but that's another story. So again, you can see here where they've shown the threads, uh, the thread here, and a couple of pins on the bottom and one on the top, and you measure over that. Well, how do we hold three? Now picture yourself on a lathe, and you're trying to hold two of these guys on the bottom, one on the top, and you only got two hands, mm. And 10 thumbs, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, two thumbs and mm -hmm. eight fingers, sorry. Mm -hmm. And now you got to get the micrometer. The, what, what are we going to use this with? Micrometer. Yeah, micro, that's right, micrometer. And we're going to measure with it. It's very difficult to do. Now, you could use grease. Not a good idea. Grease. You could use clay to hold these. Oh, oh right. Or you could put a rubber band around them, right? Or you could use the eraser method, which means you push one like so inside the eraser, uh, you push the other one in there and you push one at the bottom and you hold, that's what you use to hold it. That's kind of a cool way to do it. It's a nifty it. trick. Yeah, here's another trick, which I like even better. You put tape on the wires and you have to get it to the approximate size like this. Okay. And you can hold it like that and you can take your micrometer and you can go over the wires and you can measure it. Pretty cool way of doing it. Yeah. And that's all there is to it. So. 
to measure what you're trying to do is not going to be that tough if you just use a few simple tricks. One of them is the eraser method, as I showed, showed you earlier, or the other one is just to use the tape, which I really like the tape. Simple. So why get yourself all confused by going to the machinery's handbook and trying to go through 85 pages, maybe more than that, to try to figure out exactly what you want. Get yourself a set of these wires for 18 or 20 bucks. You have a chart here. It refers to the thread diameter, which we know in this case is a half inch. You add 18 thousandths to it. You tape it up like this. You take your micrometer. Does the tape, does the eraser come with that? Oh yeah, yeah the eraser comes with it from, the, from uh, <laughs> I, I think actually from Staples. <laughs> but you can't get the wires from Staples. But anyway, that's all there is to, uh, to figuring out what it is you're going to be doing on a thread and how you're going to check the size. It's not that difficult. Again, you know, th these charts show, for example, these charts show the pitch diameter. Do we really care about that? For cutting the thread, no, we don't. As an engineer, yes, you do. But for the average guy, we don't really care about that. So we have the pitch diameter, which is the kind of the middle of the thread, the minor diameter, which is oh, the smallest okay. one, the major diameter, which is the OD. And in some cases, you can, for example, you can figure out where the pitch diameter is by doing some simple math. Do we really care about that? Excuse me, are we keeping you awake? No. Barely, no, right? I mean. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you something here that you can, uh, that'll put you to sleep and some reference material here for you. Yeah. You can read that. Uh. And then I expect you to be coming back to the next class. But anyway, in the, inter in the interim, check us out on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, and make sure you come to class prepared for the next lesson. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm.